Hi, Everton. Welcome back to my video. Welcome back to my video. This is my natural state. Just want you to see my natural state. People always say, oh, how you do your makeup and everything? I do my own makeup. I don't do nothing glamorous. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a hairdresser, licensed hairdresser. And I like the natural. Yes, before I go on, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when a sister girl is posting. All right, my loved ones. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you came back to my channel. Yes, this is just me transforming from my natural states to me being, I call glammed up. <laughs> I call being with makeup and everything. But, yes, this is like a story time. So, yes, I am natural. I cut my hair off. It was much longer than that, but now it's growing and everything. And so, I cut my hair so it could go back to its curly form. Yes, that's what I did, you know, and so I like the way it's curling up and I put products in it and everything. It's not a, a, a paid thing, but I, I use, I use quite a bit of different products being a hairdresser. You just kind of find what works for you. So that's what I did. And then on my makeup. I will show you some of the stuff I use for my products and some of the stuff I will show you for my makeup that I use. It's nothing glamorous or anything, but people always say, who made up your face? You, you, you look real nice. You look pretty, you know? So I just like to show you a little bit what I use and what I do for my natural curly hair that works for me. Yes, not everything works for everybody. I'm learning that because I have used different products for my natural hair and it didn't work. It dried out, it made it look different and I'm like, no, I, don't, I can't use that. It dried my hair out or whatever. But I have found something that has been working really good for me and I'll show you what I'm using. All right, this is my natural state, and this is sort of like a story time, just kind of telling you what I use on my hair and on my face. Yes, you know, people might say, oh, what's these spots? If, you know, I'm 48, so it was chicken pops. I got these chicken pops when I was a six-month-old baby. You know, I was very much, I was very young, but I'm still here alive. God spared my life. So I don't really worry about these, these marks on my face. I, I think I'm still pretty with the marks, without the marks, you know, so I don't really worry about the marks and I've been living with it for 48 years. Now, some of them has went in my face and, you know, at the older I get, I don't know. You know, but I'm show you the stuff that I use too. And that kind of helps the dark spots and kind of helps the moles because I am a Creek Indian. And uh, and it kind of helps all that. And it just, over the years, it has went in my face. So, I don't know. But I have prayed too about all that stuff on my face. But yes, all right, I get back with you. Okay, this is what I use for my skin. It might be backwards. Can you see that? It's like Nadi Nala. And it's for the dark spots. And I put that on my face. And I rub it in. 
on my face and it kind of helps with the dark spots. And plus with the little, the chicken pot marks too. Over the years I have put this stuff on my face for years. So, hey, endorsement deal. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Yes, I've been using you for years. My mom told me about you all. Yes, and I've been using this for years on my face. And it has really helped my face a lot. I don't have like, I have, you see the chicken pot marks. I don't have like bad skin or anything. And you see the little moles here and everything, but yes this stuff really works it's magic yeah n-a-d-i-n-o-l-a -A. i said nadi nala and it's for skin discoloration face cream it fades dark spots uh for more even skin tone yes it really works for your face. That's what I use before I put on my makeup. And then I use the Cantu products. I know it's going to be kind of backwards, but anybody know about the Cantu products? The Curly Cream. I use the, the spray, the natural spray. Yes. It's called Comeback Curl. I use that. And then I use the moisturizer. Yes. I tell you. <laughs> that really, yeah. And then I like to use my gel for my little sideburns. And then I use the oil, or sheen, just for the shine. And that really, really works well for my hair. Yes. So when I have all those products in, and I'll show you a little bit of my makeup, I'll be back. Okay, I put my hair up, put the product in my hair, put my hair up. And I like to use a good gloss for my lips. I go to Bath and Body Works, get that little gloss, and then make the breath smell good. Got that little mint in it. Mmm, yes. I feel like I'm too close to the camera. But, yes, I just use a little brush for my eyebrows. I don't. It's a trial and error thing for me. Because really I don't have any eyebrows on this side. I have a little bit over here. And remember, I'm not a makeup artist. This is just something that I do with my face. get my eyebrows trimmed. I'm too scared of somebody being all in my face. But, you know, I still work around it.
sometimes I have to look at it and go over it again because that one will be a little darker because this has hair on it and this really doesn't so it gets a little darker take a little bit of my little cream I know some of you makeup artists be out there she's not doing it right but I'm doing what's right for my face and I follow a lot of people Leah J and look at the things that they do I love Leah J And I follow some of her regiments and stuff, which I did go and get that, the fit. This is the fit by, um, I think it's Revlon, let's see, make sure. Foundation. Yeah, Maybelline. Sorry. By Maybelline. Then I just take it. applying it to my face. Sometimes I have to add a little bit more on my eyes and the nose part. So, see, I don't do a whole lot. I see, you know, some people, that's makeup artists that apply a lot of stuff. But with me, I still like to stay natural a little bit. You know, because I'm not ashamed of my, my chicken pops. So I'm not going to just cover them all up. And then I'll put a little bit of gloss.
and I like this lip gloss And most of the stuff I get from uh, Walgreens. Most of my stuff I get from Walgreens. Some stuff I pick up from uh, Walmart, but not all the time. And then I like my, and see, I take my finger on my eyes. And I just apply my colors, different colors. I usually buy two or three or four of these. I like to apply something to my lip and then I have some for my under eyes eyeliner okay I'll be back when I'm all finished with my hair on Okay, I'm back. Then I get a nice little ponytail that you can find at your local beauty supply. And yeah, and you'll be all glammed up. And I put a little of that spray that I was talking about all over my hair just so it can stay. So yay! Yes, you can make yourself feel beautiful at home. Yes, you know, because sometimes, you know, you can't get out to see somebody to get your makeup done, get your hair done, and sometimes you just have to do it at home. So, I put a little short clip in there of what I uh, uh, used and everything. So, yes, thank you for coming back to my channel. This is just getting ready with me. Just showing you how I get ready and how I put on my makeup and everything. And yeah, this is just me. Yes, I'm trying to make sure I'm looking at the camera right. You know, it's making me feel like I'm cross at it. Because <laughs> I want to look over here, I want to look over there. But know that I'm looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> And thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it. I love you, love you, love you for all my subscribers, 
all my um, subscribers that's been here from day one. I really appreciate it. Yes, just follow me on Instagram. I put a lot of things out, different, you know, pictures, content, whatever, out on um, TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, you know. Sometimes I don't put everything out on YouTube, you know. And, um, yeah, just follow me. Please, follow me. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.